should have been a somber occasion turned into chaos today when an unidentified male started a fight at the funeral of Masa Sera, the chairman of one of the largest Yakuza syndicates in the Tokyo area. We'll bring you further details as the story develops. out of prison you got the mob after you who are you <laughs> come on you remember me don't you Kazuma detective Date Fuma got shot yeah I don't know if he's okay or not Still, I'm confused. What was all that about Yumi and the 10 billion yen? I don't know. I don't believe you. Detective Date. Why did you help me out? Organized crime yet? When did you get transferred to that? During the Dojima murder investigation, I ignored the higher-ups, went too far. My punishment was a transfer from homicide to the organized crime unit. A deal with a shitty Yakuza. Just like you, I became the black sheep. My wife and daughter left me. I fucked my whole life up because of you. Kazuma. I'm investigating the hit placed on Masa Sera. You gonna help me? I owe you one. But right now, I... The Tojo clan loses 10 billion yen. The third chairman is murdered. Then you appear and all hell breaks loose. Suddenly the case is wide open. It's like all this chaos was waiting for your release. Take this. Cell phone. Even 10-year-olds have them nowadays. I'll investigate the missing 10 billion. You look for the girl, Yumi. I just know the two are related somehow. So, why don't we cooperate? I've heard worse ideas. I'm in. So, you got any leads? No. But I'll start by gathering info from an old friend of mine. She works at Serena. I see. Barkeep, we're done here. You can open the bar again. Okay.
Welcome. Oh. It's been a long time, Reyna. <gasps> Kazuma-chan. Oh, I see. I'm sorry about Fumasan. Anyway, it's just like you to surprise me like this. I'm sorry. It's good to see you, though. Hey. Reina, Oyabun told me to find Yumi. Yes? Have, have you heard anything about her? Well, after the shooting, I was told that she disappeared from the hospital. But Kazuma, about five years ago, a girl named Mizuki stopped by here. She said she was Yumi Sawamura's sister. Yumi has a sister? Yeah. But she said that Yumi didn't know anything about having a sister. Because Yumi was sent to the orphanage way before Mizuki was even born. I see. So now, where is Mizuki? That, I'm not sure of. Mizuki used to stop by quite often. Then one day she said that she wanted to work here in the same bar that Yumi used to. She worked here for about four years. Then last year, all of a sudden, she opened her own bar. The name of her bar is... Aries. Where is it? She was supposed to tell me. But I haven't heard from her in a while. I tried to get a hold of her, but she changed her number. I see. You know, she looks so much like Yumi. If you met her, you'd see it right away. And she has a tattoo of a flower. Right here. Tattoo? Yumi would never do that. Definitely not. Sorry to have bothered you. Come back again anytime. I'll try to help you out any way I can, Kazuma. Thanks. You don't want to know about Nishiki? Or has someone already told you? Yeah, I've heard. Oh. I have to see it to believe it. I'm done trusting what others tell me. Hmm. By the way, Kazuma, do you know the Millennium Tower? It was built five years ago. Right behind the tower, there's a small bar. And the bartender there knows the business well, and has a lot of contacts. When a new bar opens, he'll know about it for sure. He probably knows where Ares is. What's the name of the bar? Bacchus.
what happened here. When I came in, everyone... everyone was... dead. Why did you come here? I was looking for my mother. I went everywhere and I heard about this bar. What's your name, little girl? Never mind, let's get out of here. Bullseye! You fucked that mud up, yo! Man, you're ruthless! Just killed the damn thing already! Alright, my turn now! Stop! Please stop! Huh? Ah! Yulchan! Are you alright? What the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Today's been a very bad day. And it's put me in a real shitty mood. What? Just your bad luck. To have run into me. Oh yeah? I think you're the unlucky one, old man. It's time to go. But he looks like he's starving. He's so skinny. Kid, where's your mother? Huh? You said you were looking for her. I don't know. I've been looking for her all day. Where do you live? You don't have a home? I left the orphanage without telling anyone. So, you're saying you're an orphan, kid? You don't... My name's not Kid. What? It's Haruka. That's my name. What's yours, mister? Uh... <laughs> it's Kazuma. Kazuma Kiryu. Please, mister. Will you please feed him? 
If he doesn't eat, he's gonna die. Even if we feed him and help him out right now, there's a good chance that he's gonna run into trouble again. These streets are not merciful. No, we can't leave him. Mister? He was hungry. I told you. You said you live in an orphanage. Yeah. Is your mother really in this city? Maybe. That's what her letter said. But I've never even met her. So what are you going to do now? Is there anyone you can go to around here? All I have is my mother. And my Aunt Yumi, so... Yumi? Yeah, she's my mother's older sister. She always gave me letters from my mother. Hey, you alright? I'm tired.
Hmm. Poor girl must have been terrified to have seen such a thing. Yeah. Raina, can you fix her something to eat? Okay. Mister? Hi there. Where am I? This is my place. Nice to meet you, Haruka-chan. That's Raina, a friend of mine. Hey, what happened to that puppy? What? That puppy. I hope he's okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he is. Really? You mean this puppy right here? Yay! Oh, hello, puppy. <sighs> I thought I'd never see you again. He followed us. <laughs> he looks so happy. Haruka, before, you mentioned something about an Aunt Yumi, didn't you? Yeah. She was the one that brought you the letters at the orphanage? Yes, that's right. She's a real nice lady. Aunt Yumi, she stops by Sunflower Orphanage every month to drop off letters from my mother or give me toys. What? Huh? Did you say Sunflower Orphanage? Yeah. And your aunt's name is Yumi. What's wrong? What is your mother's name? Mizuki. Huh? Do you know her? Do you know my mother? Please tell me. Where is my mother? Where is she? I don't know. I'm looking for her, too. And Yumi as well. Haruka, do you know where Yumi lives? No. I see. Hey, mister, can I come with you? Please? That place we were just at? I was hoping to find a clue to your mother's whereabouts. I have no leads now. I know. I know where the bar is. Aries, right? Are you sure, Haruka-chan? Yes. So now can I come along? They won't let me in if I go by myself. Please, mister? All right, you can come. Where are we going?
Mister? Let me do it. What are you doing? Mr. Press button 60. Um, uh, okay. Hmm, I would never have guessed. A pin number. My mother told me she wrote about it in a letter. It's one of the bar's special secrets. Haruka? Why do you live in an orphanage? How would I know why? Your mother knows that you're at Sunflower Orphanage, doesn't she? She said that she can't come to get me. I asked her why a million times in my letters, but that's all she told me. That's what Yumi told you as well? Yeah. The last time Aunt Yumi came, she brought me something from my mother. But... At that time, I thought I would... I would never get a chance to meet my mother. Kazuma-san, I presume, from the ex-Dojima family. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Hayashi, from the Omi family headquarters. I've heard a lot about you. The Omi family. So you were sent by Nishiki, right? You've been looking for me, haven't you? Actually... Your phone's ringing. Please don't hesitate to answer. Hello? It's Dante. Kazuma. I found out who stole the 10 billion. It was Yumi. Your Yumi. She took it. What? A ring was found at the scene. A ring? Yeah. Same ring you handed me 10 years ago. Looks, looks like the Tojo clan's after her and her partner. Partner? Yeah. I want to talk to you more about this. Tomorrow it's Serena, okay? Done. So, you're after Yumi and Mizuki. No. Actually, we're here for the girl. Me? Why her? <laughs> like I'm going to tell you, I'm one of the Omi family. Kazuma-san, why don't you cooperate and hand over the kid? You expect me to do that? <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, 
I don't want to have to kill a man like you over a little girl. You talk a lot of shit, but can you back it up? What? I think you'll find it. I don't die so easily. <laughs> this is the Kazuma-san I expected. I guess there's no other choice. Go! Kill this arrogant motherfucker! Mr. Y! Why are the bad men out to get me? Why? Please tell me! I don't know. Not yet, at least. <laughs> <laughs>